Welcome to Ask Zenla. Now in these series of videos what I've done is I've taken these directly from the master course that uh, I'm working on. Um, it might be finished depending on when you're watching this video but uh, these are taken straight from that so I have just basically titled them up Ask Zenla and then it's running through the course. So if there is a reference to other videos uh, really disregard that you're just concentrating on what we're talking about in this workshop. The reason I've done this is because some of the longer extended workshops um, if I'm doing an ask, if I'm doing it for the course, I try and turn it into an Ask Zenla as well, just because it saves a lot of work. So, especially with things like membership sites that can get quite involved. So, guys, uh, enjoy these uh, Ask Zenlas, and do be aware that they will be in the course as well. So, when the course is released, you will have access to be able to jump around and understand even more about membership sites when that course is released in due course. So enjoy for now, another Ask Zendla. Okay, welcome all. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do in this module is we're gonna look at membership scenarios. So there's quite a few different ways to run a membership site in Zendla. And I've, over the last uh, couple of months, I've been finding out what other people have been doing and how they have actually adapted a new Zendler to actually work with what they needed or what they required. So first two um, lectures are going to be on the scenarios uh, that Zendler have kind of set up for the um, thought behind memberships, which is tiers and um, bundles. So, uh, and then we're gonna break into more innovative ways that people have used uh, their sites to turn it into a membership site and also the pitfalls of some of the ways they've done it as well so it's entirely up to you I can see this uh, module kind of extending extending as maybe new features are added to Zenla and also uh, how other people have uh, communicated with me and told me that um, different methods that they're using so I will include those as different scenarios so let's get on and look at how we can create our new site and turn it into a membership site <music> 